Today, I'm going to follow the presentation from my colleague and trying to explain how this early warning and monitoring decision support systems can, can be created. So today I'm going to bring you bad news, but also good news. So the bad news is that this is already happening. So in the past years, we have had many, many episodes of flooding around Europe. So this is Central Europe, 10 years ago. This is England, 10 years ago as well. This is Latin America. So the phenomena El Niño and La Niña are getting increasing their frequency, and we have to be prepared for that. But that was something that used to happen like in very undeveloped countries, but this is happening again. So this was last year here in Germany, and this year again. So we have to be prepared. This is something that is happening. And we are in a good point now because technology is helping us to deploy these systems. So the first thing we have to take into account is where we are at. We cannot deny that climate change is changing the way our rivers are behaving. And this is affecting more and more areas, especially developed areas within Europe and the world. So we have to face this change. And in order to change that, we have also help from the government. There is some political concerns. So both the European Commission and also the United Nations are aware of, this, of these things. So they are deploying their effort in helping us. And in order to have a decision support system, an early warning system for flooding events, the first thing we need to have is data. And what data we will go into use? It will be the weather, the weather forecast. And we have reached a very good point in which weather analysis and models have very good forecast for us to use. And we also need faster calculations. As my, as my colleague said, we cannot wait for a whole day, for two days, to have the, the results. But we have reached um, a, an IT moment where the options are good, are great. And every two years, the time to have a simulation ready will be half the time. So we're facing what many people say it's the second half of the chessboard. So in the following years, it will be even faster and faster, the way we will be able to make these calculations, even with complex products, like the Autodesk products that we represent. And by the way, if you want to have more information, you can visit our booth, booth in Pavilion 3. We are there, just in the middle. And what will be the components of an early warning system? So the first thing will be to be able to monitor what's happening and to warn the people. Also, you need to perform a risk analysis on what's happening. And for that, you can rely on our products that are able to do these calculations for you. I will show you some examples. Also, you need communications and sharing the data between different organizations. And also, you need reaction and action capacity. So this would mean collaboration and coordination of many different services. And for some of you that don't really know what a decision support system and an early warning system is, we have like different steps. The first one would be like the hydraulic monitoring. So this is what many, that is done in many parts of the world. So you have a lot of sensors and you're monitoring what is happening. But then you need to put them into a hydraulic digital twin in order to understand what these changes would mean in the future. And then you will need to have um, some decisions already made. So you have to analyze the different scenarios that you will face and know what the decisions will be in case of this is happening. And then you will be able to have a full early warning system. The first steps are there. So as I said, we already have control centers for different utilities, and we're monitoring this data. So we're taking advantage of the Internet of Things 
and connecting all this data together. But how good is this data if we could not get some insights of it? And, and this is possible. One of the products that Autodesk has is ICM Life. ICM Life is, um, is a digital twin, a hydraulic and hydrology digital twin, in where you can add all your data about the weather forecast. You can have all the different conditions that are at that moment at the territory. So this is the city of Bilbao, but it could be Dresde, it could be Hanover, it doesn't matter. It could be anywhere, and we have everything together. The surface, so we have, we can, we can um, monitor how much rainfall we're going to have. We can have a model of rainfall runoff and see how much water will be arrived to the, to the river. And it's coupled with the sewer system, which is underneath, which is underneath the terrain. Because sometimes you can have a good decision taking into account the, um, how this network is working. Maybe you can make it, um, you can use it some of your system in advance. You can take advantage of, of your tanks and try to man manage this flooding before it happens. And this is another complete digital twin. This was deployed in San Sebastian, in the north of Spain. And you can also couple it with the tides. You have to take into account the tide level. That's also something you will have the forecast to integrate. And then you can have a better answer and a better decision of what's going to happen. But if you are just monitoring the data that you're receiving, it's very complicated to make a decision. And of course, there are technical challenges to have this system deployed. The first will be merging and simulation a lot of different data. So you have to take into account the sewer data, the digital terrain model data, also how are the ties, if they are, will be affecting you, and of course, the weather forecast. And then you have to be able to take all this into account. But the good news is that everything has been taken into account in ICM Live, so you can import different feeds of data and do these calculations. And then we're benefiting from distributed computing, CUDA, and also we, are, we can compute in the, um, in the cloud. So there is no need to deploy in a very complicated um, IT system, because you can take advantage of that, and you can, you can get it and access the results from anywhere. And that's what I wanted to explain to you today. So if you want more information, please don't forget to visit us. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. <laughs>